Hi guys, welcome to Metal and Rock Zone Festival Edition, a Brutal Assault Heavy Metal Festival Czech Republic Day 2 Recap. And those of you who don't know what Brutal Assault is, that's a heavy metal festival of 150 bands, kind of extreme, thrash, death, black, grindcore, metalcore, whatever, all the heavy stuff, uh, four days. And this is my day two. Uh, I did day one yesterday. And I'm here at the end of day two, recording this, uh, but when you're seeing it, it's going to be in the morning. I just wanted to kind of prepare a little bit. And in a true rock and roll style, I'm in the hotel here popping some pills. These are um, vitamins uh, that my girlfriend sent me with. And drinking it with fortified water that's fortified with magnesium. Very much rock and roll. When you're old, you need to bring supplements to festivals, not drugs, or different type of drugs at least. So anyway, um, we have a Brutal Assault 2023 playlist, so just before I start, you can check that out. There's a lot of songs that we recorded at the, at the festival that you can see. Um, so today started kind of in the morning. I did a video about day one, had a breakfast in the hotel. It's this kind of old school communist hotel. As you can see beautiful curtains behind me and amazing deco. Um, and then, yeah, we went to the festival around two o'clock or something like that. And uh, there was sunshine now, it's been raining before. So the mud was kind of drying out, the pee was starting to smell. So it's kind of true festival feeling that you're getting now. And it's going to be sunny for the rest of the festival, so it's going to smell really bad. Um, the first band that I saw was a band called Extinction AD. That's like a thrash groove metal band from the US. And um, it's a good band, very kind of energetic. And it would have been much nicer though if there were more people there. There was not a lot of people in the crowd and kind of very kind of undense, do you say that? Yeah, spread. And uh, so that was the first band. The second band that I saw was uh, Wolfheart from Finland. And that's uh, kind of a melodic, melodic death metal band. Um, they have some really good songs and they play perfectly. And uh, that's a band that I want to know more about. And they're actually coming to Prague, where I live here in the Czech Republic, in November. And along with them is going to be another band from Finland called Before the Dawn. And the guy, this Thomas guy, who was kind of the frontman of Wolfhart, or one of, well, they all sing, but he sings most. Uh, he's also in this other band, Before the Dawn, so he's going to play two gigs every night on that European tour, and that's going to be really interesting. So I'm going to go and see them when they come to Prague, both of his bands. Um, so they were a good band. Uh, the third band that I saw was Moonspell from Portugal, and that's kind of like a gothic doom metal band, been around for a long time, and... Uh, it's not something that I would necessarily play at a party at home, uh, but it's definitely nice to see them finally. I had heard a lot about them and I heard them and, and stuff like that, but I had never seen them live. And I realized when I was watching this, you know, how nice this festival is with 150 bands and they're so diverse. You know, there are Spanish bands, Portuguese bands, Danish bands, uh, Icelandic bands, US bands, English bands. It's from all over and that's super, super nice. Um, and uh, and it's the same with the crowd, actually. I mean, I was next to a Puerto Rican in, uh, when I was watching Sepultura and then spoke to a Danish guy when I was buying coffee. And then there's a lot of Germans and a lot of whatever, you know, there is everyone is here. Um, after Moonspell, I saw Dismember. And uh, that's kind of one of these old school death metal bands. They started in like 86, 87 or something like that. And they, they actually quit in like 2010, 11 got back together 2019 so there was kind of a band that I thought I would never really see and um, and I was very much looking forward to see them um, yeah kind of because of this you know it's like a, one of those legendary bands and they were really really good and they have this classic Swedish uh, guitar sound this I, I think they call it like bus saw sound it's kind of like entombed or something like that and just that sound alone yeah, that's worth a million bucks, you know. So this member were good. Uh, after that, I saw Dying Fetus, and they, they are kind of like a technical death grindcore band from the US. And it's not really my cup of tea when it comes to music, but just the fact that these two guys, well, three with the drummer, but that, yeah, okay, like a trio can make a sound like this. It's it's amazing. Um, and yeah, and and they do all this stuff, you know, 
on the guitar necks and the bass necks and all that while singing, which is crazy, you know. Um, and here I am struggling through getting through a Beatles song on an acoustic guitar. Um, so Dying Fetus, after that I saw Sepultura and I had seen Sepultura just last year actually in a tiny little club in a town called Sleen, like 450 people and that was fun and all that. But somehow um, I was a little bit worried before this because I checked the set list and they, I could see that they were playing six songs from a new album Quatra. And when I saw them before, they kind of played more of the old stuff and just like two or three new songs. So this tour now is kind of to support that album. So I was a little bit skeptic about this, but they actually got away with it. They mixed in the new songs really well into the set list and the atmosphere is just crazy. You know, people were jumping. We were on top of the mixer room on a, like a podium, which we bought access to. And I just thought that the fucking floor would go down and we would end on the mixers, you know, like I've never felt this <laughs> energy anywhere in a concert before because the people around me were just all jumping up and down and uh, and they were so good and it's again another band that you know with one guitar can do stuff that most bands will struggle with with just three or four guitars you know so and the drummer this Eloy Casagrande in in, in Sepultura he's just fucking great I mean yeah he, he's just and I'm, I, when I was watching it I, I realized how complicated actually the drumming is because they kind of mix this Brazilian kind of Amazonian grooves into their music and, and it's not like just straightforward four to the floor you know um, so Sepultura were great and uh, yeah they did not disappoint even that they played a lot of the new songs uh, next after them was In Flames uh, from Sweden Melodic Death Metal and that's actually the only band that I gave 11 out of 10 in my concert reviews. I do a lot of concert reviews of the concerts that I go to, like like vlogs like this, you know. And uh, and I had seen In Flames in Prague last year, and they were fucking amazing. Um, and uh, so I was super excited. I think probably this was the most exciting band for me to see on this concert, even though there's a lot of other good bands. I just based on my experience of seeing them before, and they kind of disappointed me a little bit in the beginning. The first five songs were kind of I don't know, it, it just didn't feel like these were songs that would get the crowd going or get the band going somehow. I don't know what it was, but, but they kind of made up for it. The, the reminder of the set was really good. And, and just the fact that the guy, the singer, Anders Frieden, he's just so funny when he was talking between songs and the jokes that he's making, he, he kind of makes up for it. He's, he's probably the funniest guy in metal, um, at least that's what I think. I mean, I've only seen him say funny stuff. And, um, and then after In Flames was uh, Vatain, that's the Swedish uh, black metal band. And it was funny because when they were preparing the stage that's next to, because there are two big stages next to each other, and then they prepare one and they performing at one. And then, you know, so, so while In Flames was performing, Vatain was preparing. And I thought it was like some fucking home and garden center or something being set up there because there was like all sorts of stuff, trees and whatever, you know. And, uh, but yeah, that was kind of just setting the stage for some amazing show because these guys bring fire on stage, they burn some crosses and they have, you know, everything is on fire. They even put the drum kit on fire. And, uh, and it's not just a show, it's actually the music is really, really unique. It's very unique black metal. It's, it's somehow, sometimes a little bit melodic, gets a little bit trashy, gets a little bit death metal-y. It's really cool stuff and that's definitely a band that I will check out more after, after seeing them now. I mean, I had, I had listened a little bit, but I didn't really know this band very well. But uh, yeah, Vatain were, were great. So I would say my highlights of the day, if I kind of sum up the day, then that would be Sepultura, definitely. That was a big surprise and uh, they turned out to be amazing. I mean, I expected them to be good, but I was a skeptic because of the set list. Amazing. This member, really good, solid, great guitar sound. Half of In Flames was amazing. And uh, yeah, and Arte Frieden gets the funniest guy in metal award hereby. And then I would give a shout out to Vatain because that was something different. That's, yeah, I, 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 it made me think about Mayhem when I saw Mayhem last year, but just better music. Um, I'm sorry, Mayhem fans. Um, so what about you? Were you there um, in the concert uh, or in the festival? Tell me what you liked and what you disliked. Um, 
today or tomorrow, or today is probably when you're seeing this, I'm going to see Christian, Nile, Cataclysm, Obituary, and uh, Overkill cancelled actually. So there's going to be this uh, SDI, I think, German thrust metal band, which I've seen earlier this summer, but I'm going to see them again. And uh, Gorgoroth and Mistermink from Iceland, some fellow Icelanders coming and performing, and that's at 2 o'clock in the night. So I'll probably have to take an extra dose of vitamins just to stay awake. Uh, so, yeah, playlist, met, uh, Brutal Assault 2023 playlist is on. And then we have on Instagram, Metal Rock Zone, we do stories from pretty much every band that we see. And so subscribe to the channel because after the festival, I'll do like a, a summary of the whole thing, a little bit more about the experience, the food, the merchandising, and all the whole thing about it and what I think about this festival. Subscribe, like, share. See you guys around. Bye.